Welcome to the HTML5 tutorial. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. In this series of videos, I will teach you how to do HTML5 coding. But before we dive into the waters, I just want to give you a very brief overview of what HTML5 is. So here is a brief timeline for HTML. HTML itself was created in 1990 and in 1997 its fourth re revision came out. It has been quite a while. And currently its fifth revision is underway. It's not completed yet, at least as of 2012. So where did HTML5 come from? There were two groups involved in the creation of HTML5. One is called Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group and another one is called World Wide Web Consortium, W3C. And the first group is interested in promoting HTML and the other group is mainly responsible for creating standards for World Wide Web. And the two groups were working separately along the same lines but one day they decided to get together and combine their efforts and HTML5 came into the picture. So HTML5 will provide following objectives mainly. It will provide standard features which will be based on HTML, cascading style sheets, document object model and JavaScript. So these are the protocols already implemented right now and the new HTML5 will provide st same standards that are seen in these uh, protocols. And it will be device independent the main focus is that HTML5 should be able to run neatly on smartphone devices and the development process is kept visible to the public for their involvement. Also the objective is to reduce the need for external plugins like Flash for example and also to provide bet better error handling and to provide more markups so that there is a reduced need for scripting languages. Some new features that you will see in HTML5 include 2D drawing using canvas element, media playback using video and audio tags, local storage support, new content elements like article, footer, header, nav and section, new form controls like calendar, date, time, email, URL and search etc. Okay, so these are some of the new features that you will immediately notice but there are lots of other features as well. It is important to note that HTML5 will incorporate all these three different languages. HTML4, to be exact, 4.01, this is the latest version. XHTML 1.1 and document object model level 2. So all these three will go away and will be replaced by HTML5. So very briefly, HTML is a hypertext markup language to produce content on the browsers. XHTML provides extensibility to HTML. In XHTML, you can create your own tags and use them, while in HTML, you have to use predefined tags. So you can consider XHTML as a combination of HTML and XML. Anyway, uh, this will no more be there. XHTML, it will be part of HTML5. And document object model was there as well to create documents containing data and to provide methods to be used with the documents and this will be part of HTML5 as well. Keep in mind that HTML5 is not a language that you need to install on your computer as a software. So It's a language but it's not a software that you'll be downloading and installing. The browsers must provide support to HTML5. In fact most of the modern browsers are already providing support to whatever has been agreed upon so far in HTML5 standards. And all you have to do is make sure you update your browser uh, to let HTML5 be displayed on your browser. So that's all you have to do. You don't have to install a software as such. And developers of the browsers are responsible for incorporating the HTML5 standards. So in the next uh, series of videos, I will teach you step by step how to do HTML5 coding so that you can start using this language.